Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ron Weiss. And uh, if you will forget my name, so maybe you will remember me as the 50 hertz guy, because I assume most of you are working on 60 hertz. And I'm coming from Israel. As you see in the picture, I usually smile, but I'm a little serious today. I'm not smiling. Try to imagine yourself speak in Hebrew in front of 100 people that speak only Hebrew. And so I have two alternatives now, whether I make this lecture in Hebrew, and you won't understand, but I will smile a lot, <laughs> or I will do it in English. I assume you prefer I will continue in English. So this is my agenda. I will uh, show you IEC profile, my company, uh, the company objectives for this year, and some of the main challenges that we are facing, uh, and how we got from uh, ch challenges uh, to opportunities. We are a state-owned utility established in 1923. Our annual turnover is $7 billion. We are an isolated grid. You can see the map of Israel and with the adjacent uh, countries, and we are not connected to any other country. It makes a lot of difficulties in the area of electricity. We have to rely only our, of ourselves, and uh, in a tense situation, all the experts that we are using from other companies are leaving the country, so we have to have all the knowledge inside our company. We have around two and a half million customers, around 30,000 employees. The installed capacity is more than 30,000 megawatt. Just a moment, please. Once again, the map of Israel with the installed capacity, we still own 500 megawatts of coal-fired power plants. We have some old units of oil that we transfer to natural gas. All the new equipment is combined cycle, is more than 6,000 megawatts. And we have some uh, jet and industrial gas turbines uh, for peak demand. All together is more than 3,000 megawatt. In Israel, there are around 200 substations, 150 of them are of IEC. My company has designed and built most of the power plants in Israel and most of the substation and switching station in Israel. We have the length of grid of 58,000 kilometers and the units are located, the 63 units are located in 17 sites. We have a fast growth rate we are growing each year between 2 to 4%, and this is something that we have to take care of. At the early stages of uh, gas in Israel, my company has developed uh, the gas distribution system, and now we are developing also telecommunication. I have here uh, four slides of a company objective for 2000 and 16, but I will uh, explain maybe a few of them that uh, are underlined. The first thing is the reform. Our company is waiting for a reform in Israel for at least 20 years. The government doesn't succeed to do a reform in Israel. The unions are very strong, and uh, Many things are waiting for the reform. Decisions are not taken care of. So this is one of the problems that we have. Another problem is finance, uh, probably. And uh, the depth of IC is growing from year to year. Uh, because of some of the IPPs that went into the net, and they take our best customers so we earn less and less money each year, and we have to overcome this. One of the reasons that we started to deal with communication 
is because of this situation, because we wanted to uh, implement smart grids. Uh, so we have established a sister company that is dealing with a wideband internet and communication. You saw in the map our neighbors and uh, cyber attack is one of the things that we deal a lot in Israel and we have to protect ourselves. You will see later on how many attacks we have each day and each month. We want to become a green company and we are forced to become a green company. One of the projects that we were enforced to do is uh, emission reduction in all our uh, coal power plants. Uh, it is a project of more than $2.5 billion uh, that we are implementing in all 10 units of coal in Israel. And we are taking a, a lot of aspects of green uh, activities in order to become a green company. We are trying to promote innovation technologies uh, in many areas in order to overcome the situation that we are facing. Some of our main challenges for the future is, uh, first of all, struggling the regulation. You can see in this slide, we have more than 30 regulators. At the past, we show this slide with Gulliver lying on the ground, tied with many uh, ropes with all the regulators. But in, in one of my lectures, one of the regulators was offended. So I replaced the, the slide with this slide. And, but you can see that there are many, many regulators in Israel. Some of them uh, probably uh, are in other countries, but some of them um, are unique in Israel. For example, for security reason, we have some regulators that do not exist, I think, in other countries. Okay, uh, about the emission reduction project, we try to reduce the NOx and SOx all around the country, even though there is an increase in demand of two to four, uh, two to four point, two, sorry, two to four percent each year. So we try to reduce NOx and SOx, and it, it is a huge task. As I told you, we are facing heavy debt that is growing from year to year. In the last three years, we succeeded to reduce the debt uh, by increasing our development in other fields and by doing things that uh, brought some money to the company rather than electricity. So what are we trying to do in the future in order to overcome this situation? First of all, we try to uh, develop business in other fields. We try to sell our EPC services in many countries. Uh, we have built several projects designed and built in other countries, combined cycle, coal fire uh, power plants. We can do also emission reduction and coal generation uh, plant, and of course, uh, renewables as PV solar and hydro. Uh, in some cases, we are dealing with repowering of existing power plants and, of course, switching and substations uh, equipment. Some additional services that we give as IEC is, for example, we have training centers uh, that Many people from around the world uh, come to Israel to learn. Uh, we establish another company, a sister company, that is called Cyber Gym. And together with this company, we are doing projects of cyber around the world. 
and other fields, as you see in the slide. These are some of, these are a list of the project that we have done around the world. Uh, for example, we have designed together with Alstom 12 uh, coal power plants in South Africa. Uh, we were the only engineer of a project in India, Lalipur. We have designed also together with Alstom uh, a combined cycle in Greece, Aliveri, etc., etc. You can see we have installed two uh, gas turbines in Papua New Guinea. We are working in Angola in, uh, uh, for we are building substations together with an, uh, another Israeli company that is called Mitterelli. And of course, we are working with all the vendors, uh, Siemens, ABB, GE, et cetera, et cetera, in all our projects. We are not related to uh, any specific uh, vendor. And uh, at last, I want to show you, uh, I have here three examples uh, of creative ideas uh, that we have implemented in Israel and around the world. Uh, I, I think I have the time to show you at least one or two, maybe the last one, I will not. Sorry? Uh, I, will, I will start with the methanol turbine, okay. Uh, in Israel, and this is once again the map of Israel, Elat is a city that has no connection to gas. Uh, and it is, the difference uh, is around 300 kilometers than other cities. So what we have done there, in order to reduce NOx and SOx, and this is the overview of a lot side, there are several gas turbines over there. We have converted the site to methanol. Methanol is a synthetic alcohol and it is free from foreign materials. It has no uh, sulfur, so uh, there is no problem of SOx. And methanol reduces the NOx, you can see the diagram in the next slide. Uh, and it is a very good fuel. I uh, know that in many places in the world, they try to uh, convert machines from solar to, uh, from, uh, solar to uh, uh, just a moment, please. Yes. In many cases in the world, they try to convert from solar to methanol, but they, they didn't succeed. But in a lot, we are working uh, continuously uh, on methanol, and it is working very good. And we succeeded to reduce NOxes, and there are no SOx uh, from methanol in this uh, site. Uh, you can see also in this slide the uh, unloading platform to unload uh, the fuel. It is not the first type. Uh, the first type in the world, they try to convert uh, solar to methanol in many places, but I think it is the only one that is, is working fluently. Okay, another field, another uh, field that we are working is uh, we have uh, prepared an expert system for, for coal uh, boilers in order to uh, increase efficiency of around 2%, and it is very important, 2% is a lot in coal uh, boilers. Uh, but because of lack of time, I will not show it, but if someone will be interested, of course, I can do it. And last is the cyber war. Uh, we think that we are in a war, or at least in a significant battle. Cyber, is, cyber war is continuously and the battle is increasing from year to year. I want to show you how many attacks are on Israel or IC external uh, networks. You can see there are millions attacks every month uh, from many countries, also from United States. Therefore, I'm here to try to uh, find some. Uh, but this is a real problem and we succeed uh, to uh, eliminate all the threats with 
very complex system that we implemented uh, in IEC uh, facilities. Uh, we try to think as the attackers and uh, we try to be creative all the time. We are using four fields. The first one is involvement of the management. It is very important. The second one is a good organization, how to deal with the cyber inside our company. Uh, we increase all the time the awareness of the workers of IEC, and at the end we implement a lot of equipment to protect our equipment uh, regarding cyber attack, seven days a week, 24 hours continuously. We have a, a cyber room, a control room that controls uh, the cyber attacks that we are facing and at the end, it is an extensional uh, threat that we have to deal with. And I want to thank you very much. Thank you so much, Ron. Thank you so much, Ron. If there was one area that you want to learn the most from your stateside counterparts mm -hmm. in, what would be that? I think the most important things that I can learn here, and I heard some suggestions, is about smart grid and distributed uh, energy. Uh, it is rather new in Israel, and I think even though uh, the states are still facing a lot of trouble, they are well, ahead of us. Though, right? Yes, yes. So you guys mm -hmm. have a state-run monopoly, so that should be easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not With quite. all the recollectors. <laughs> Yes. Well, anyway, Ron, thank you so much. Thank you. It has been an honor and a privilege to host you. We look forward to breaking bread with you in Israel. Thank you so much okay. for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much.